All right, so we got clinical trial tests uh, with a method that's designed to increase the probability of conceiving a girl. In the study, 4 and 15 babies were born, and 332 of them were girls. So we want to construct or use the sample data to construct a 99% confidence interval, estimate the percentage of girls born based on this. Uh, based on the result, does the method appear to be effective? So... Um, First, we need to find our error here. Well, actually, uh, starting off, P is going to be equal to 332 over 415, which turns out to be equal to 0 0.8. Yeah, that's right. All right, so then E, or error, because we're going to eventually do P plus or minus E, is going to be equal to um, our confidence interval square root of P, uh, Q, all over N. So it's going to be equal to, and then P's, we have P up here. Um, so our confidence interval is going to be, oh, it's 99%, so it's 2.576 times the square root of P, which is 0 0.8, and then Q is 1 minus P, which is 0 0.2, and then over and which is going to be equal to 415. So what we get is, um, I'll just round to four decimal places, 0 0.0506. Okay. Um, now all I do is I do P plus or minus E. So I'm going to have uh, P, which is 0 0.8 plus or minus 0 0.0. Um, 5, 0, 6. And I'll just round this to three decimal places. Okay, so this ends up being um, P is greater than plus or minus, so it's P is greater than 0 0.749. Um, P is equal to 0 0.851. And based off the res results, they're effective because it's greater than 50%. Because typically, you know, the law of averages over large numbers um, worldwide, there's a little bit more females than males, but uh, it's close to 50%. So if this is the case, then it's much more likely that you are to have a girl than a boy. So, um, this is the margin of error and then or um the range and then of course yes um girls greater significantly greater than 0 0.5 okay that's it i hope this helped you out thanks for watching have a great day